Hi friends, welcome to the class of Formal Language and Automata Theory. Coming to the concept of minimization of DFA. So we know what is a DFA, but what is this minimization? So how can we minimize a given DFA? So here the minimization in the sense, we may reduce number of states so that the resultant finite automata should be same that is whatever the your source finite automata accept that is accepted by the resultant finite automata whatever it rejects the strings the resultant also should be rejected let us consider this example here it is given finite automata deterministic finite automata you can see now in this deterministic finite automata we have to minimize it so how we can minimize that means here you have six number of states q0 q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 so can we draw the same transition diagram or same finite automata so that it also will behave like same thing similar to this one so how to find this so the first thing we need to check is like is every state is reachable from initial state is every state is reachable from initial state if not you need to remove that state uh, let us consider for this example q1 can i reach from q0 yes i can reach by giving q0 to a what about q2 i can reach q0 to b to q2 what about q3 yes i can reach why because q0 to q1 then q1 to q3 what about q4 q0 to q1 q1 to q3 q3 to q4 i can reach what about q5 you can see arrow is in this manner that means can i reach from q0 to q5 I cannot reach anywhere you can see anywhere from any via any states you cannot reach to q5 so that's why this state is not required so like this i can remove one state now the next thing is we need to check for equivalent states among these remaining states is there exist any two states are equivalent or else any three states are equivalent etc like this we need to check it out so that is a process if i let us suppose if i found like q0 and q2 both are equal i can combine these two states and i can make this as a only one state so this is a procedure like this we can reduce the number of states so that the resultant finite automata is also produced as the same thing like same strings will be accepted and similar to this one and same strings will be rejected with respect to this source dfa so how to solve this one here there are two methods one is equivalence method the other one is table filling method we'll see one by one and we'll solve the same problem by using this and we'll find the what is the minimized dfa for this respect to dfa so first i'll go for equivalence method so how to solve in equivalence method we'll see first so the step one what is the step one first so we need to check for non reachable states what are non reachable states of course i found like the non reachable state is only q5 remaining all are reachable from q0 we have seen this one is only q5 so i need to remove from the set of states q5 will be removed so whatever the remaining states first i need to construct the transition table so that it will become easier for us to find the answer so this is a transition table for the remaining states i have taken all the states except q5 why because it is a non reachable state so q0 to a i have taken q0 to b like this for, for this transition diagram this is a respective transition table so what are the final states only one final state that is q4 i have taken q4 and also represent with star in this also wherever you have you find final state q4 is a final state no so i am putting here final state why because it is easy for you to find now in equivalence method how to solve so equivalence method you need to solve like first you need to find what are zero equivalent states what are zero equivalent states first you need to find so what is the meaning of zero equivalent state means just separate what are non final states and what are final states from this so what are non final states here so q0 q1 q2 and q3 are non final whereas q4 is only final state 
now this is you called as zero equivalent now you go for one equivalent what is one equivalent means check out now you separated non final as final and final now you can check here in this group any two states are equal and you need to check it out first so from zero equivalent you can conclude that q4 is not at all equal into any other state why because q4 is a final these are non final now here you can see q0 q1 i'll check it out how to check this one you see check for what is q0 to a that is the first input and q1 to a so what is q0 to a q1 what is q1 to a q1 remember here if both are same you ignore ignore it if both are same you ignore it if both are not equal you check whether those two are belongs to same group in the previous equivalence and if they are equivalent here also you need to include if both are not same let us suppose i'll explain no q0 to a q1 to a both are equal that's why i'll go for q0 to b and q1 to b so what is q0 to b q2 what is q1 to b q3 q2 q3 i'm receiving check out where is q2 q3 combination in previous i am finding in one equivalent that's why i'm going to zero equivalent where is q2 q3 here is these two are belongs to same group yes let us suppose if i get q2 q4 here q2 q4 they are not in same group no like this here if i get q2 q3 q2 q3 both are in same group that's why now for which you are finding q0 q1 so i can include q0 q1 in the same group checking for the inputs i am getting q2 q3 for q0 q1 so that's why q0 q1 are same group now i check it for q0 q1 again go for q0 q2 so what is q0 q2 q0 to a q1 q2 to a q1 both are equal no ignore it now q0 to b q2 q2 to b q2 both are equal ignore that means there is no difference that's why that also to be in the same group with the q0 so q0 q1 we have seen q0 q2 if q0 q1 same group q0 q0 q2 also same group that means q1 q2 is also in that group that is our conclusion now check out q0 q3 q0 q3 here now q0 to a q1 q3 to a q1 same ignore q0 to b q2 whereas q3 to b it is q4 now you can see you are getting q2 and q4 now you are getting the set q2 and q4 check it out where is q2 q4 q2 is here q4 is here that means both are not belongs to same group that's why for which you are finding q0 and q3 so q0 q3 may not belongs to same group that's why q0 i have written here so only q3 i need to separate here anyway q4 is separate now you need to go for two equivalent that means q3 is separated now checking for among these three any two equivalent or all these three are equivalent we need to check it out so same procedure you need to follow q0 q1 what is q0 to a q1 q1 to a q1 both are equal ignore q0 to b q2 q1 to b q3 now you can see q2 q3 are they belongs to same group in the previous you can see q2 is here and q3 is here not same group so that's why whatever you are finding q0 q1 should be in the separate group you can see here q0 here so q0 q1 should be written separately now q0 q1 or not belongs to same group now i conclude it now check out q0 q2 whether they are belongs to same group q0 to a q1 q2 to a q1 so ignore q0 to b q2 q2 to b q2 same ignore that's why same group if you get both are ignore that means both that means q0 q2 or belongs to the same group now you can see no other state q1 is separate q3 is separate and q4 is separate now finding for three equivalent so of course if you find three equivalent eh, only you need to check these two because they th these three are separate so check out q0 to a q1 and q2 to a q1 same q0 to b q2 q2 to b q2 same so that's why same group 
anyway no need to check for this one these are already separated so where you have to stop this one means so you need to continue this one until previous that means recent two equivalents should be same so why I have not stopped here you can see this one and this one both are not same now you see this one and this one q0 q2 q0 q2 q1 q1 q3 q3 q4 q4 see same sort of things you can get here so that's why even if I go for 4 y equivalents I'll get the same thing so now I can stop here now what is my conclusion is here you can see whichever are coming to in one group all are that all these are equivalent now I can say q0 q2 are equivalent and I can make q0 q2 as one state anyway q1 q3 q4 are separate now you can draw the transition diagram by using this that is q0 comma q2 is in one group q1 separately q3 separately q4 separately anyway q5 is non-reachable no need to write initial state is q0 final state anyway q4 now same thing you can you can proceed q0 to a q1 q0 to b q2 that means both are same now that's why self loop q1 to a self loop q1 to b q3 q2 to a so q2 already we have taken now q0 q no need to again go for it if you go again you will get the same thing now q3 to a that is q1 q3 to b q4 q4 to a q1 q4 to b that is q2 so now you can see this is a minimized or deterministic finite automata for this respective so how we have minimized here you have totally six states here only you have four states of course with reduced transitions also so like this we need to find when it comes to equivalence method we'll see table filling method in the next video lecture thank you